My name is Dr. Musa Marena. Uh, I'm from the Gambia, West Africa. I am one of the people awarded the Mark Foundation Scholarship to come and study infertility in, in India, Bangalore, at the Milan Fertility Center. Um, as the first individual trained from the Gambia, in infertility. I am among the lucky ones. Uh, fertility training in the Gambia is a huge challenge. As of now, we don't have any fertility center. And um, we don't have any fertility expert or any embryologist in the country. So it is a huge challenge because most of the women back home would have to see a gynecology for the fertility Care that they will receive. So basically, those are the, that's the huge challenge we have. And luckily, for the early intervention of Mark Foundation to award me this scholarship to train in the at Milan Fertility Center. The challenges faced by most of the women having infertility problems in the country is immense. Um, Usually they would see a general doctor, then later refer to a gynecologist. And the gynecologist, gynecologist basically does the uh, basic investigations for the patients. But when patients need special care, they would have to travel outside the country. It is expensive both for the individual, which most of them can't afford. As in Gambia, like other developing countries, we have a lot of uh, fertility. I mean the fertility rate in the country is high. So infertility is not considered as a huge problem compared to the number of people who are having the high fertility rate. So basically we are in this, uh, in the term which they say the barrenness in the presence of plenty. So we are faced with these obstacles. So most of these women don't receive the care that they will need, both when it comes to policy wise and uh, treatment wise. So basically that's what we have. The training usually available when it comes to infertility is basically during the medical school and during the, your training as a general gynecology. But anything specific like uh, fertility training, specifically focus on fertility, is not available in the country. The other key challenges we have is because of lack of the facilities available, some of the investigations that are necessary in order to, for you to make a diagnosis are not basically available. Fertility awareness in the country is immense because in the general gynecological clinic we tend to have a lot of patients presenting with infertility and uh, unfortunately we, we had, they, they would have first seen the traditional uh, 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 traditional healers before they come to see the general doctors then see the gynecologist. So the awareness among the women is immense because because of the pressure from the community, from their in-laws, from the husbands. So most of the time the women will present alone at the, at the gynecological clinic. So the awareness is immense among people who are really looking for uh, for for pregnancy. And uh, the tradition back home is usually when you get pregnant, eh, when, you get, when you get married, people expect you to be pregnant within a few years. So when they don't, most of the time the women will start seeking care from the gynecologist. But usually they will start with their own traditional treatment at home or go and see traditional healers before they present at the hospital. The social perception of infertility in the country is immense like any developing country basically the woman is always considered to be at fault and uh, in that situation when the woman is in a marriage then there are a lot of pressures from the in-law from the husband from the friends and even people surrounding the individual so there's immense psychological uh, trauma to the woman and the couple as well because most of the time the couple mainly the husband may be tempted because polygamy is something that that is normal in in the Gambia so most of the time the, the man might be forced to go and marry a second wife so the woman with those 
expectations would go all the way out in order to have a child. So there are a lot of consequences of infertility when it comes to marriage and even there are instances it can even be a conflict between the two, the two family on the side of the woman and on the side of the man. Me as a trained gynecologist who had some idea or some, who has received some training on infertility, uh, the Mark Foundation Fertility Training Program is a timely intervention because all the while I have been interested in infertility. So with receiving this Mark uh, Scholarship Training in Infertility at Milan Fertility Center has been a timely intervention for me. And uh, my patients, which I've been seeing over the years, would, have, would benefit a lot because the training has broadened my understanding of infertility and the issues surrounding infertility, not just providing the ability to get pregnant, but also the psychological aspect, uh, the laboratory aspect, and a lot of issues. And uh, also as a trainer, I would use this opportunity or the knowledge that I acquired during this training in order to impact on the young ones so as for them to have an understanding of infertility like any other gynecological problems. My expectations from the training is to first acquire the knowledge, then the skills, and uh, I would use that knowledge in order to try to develop infertility in in, in the Gambia. The, the training component includes seeing, uh, seeing patients in the clinic, then the laboratory aspect, and uh, the clinical aspect includes investigating the infertile couples, how to investigate the infertile couple, and if you understand the issues surrounding their infertility, then what are the steps that you need to take in order to help them help them solve this infertility problem. And also some of the issues that we learn includes uh, ovulation inductions and uh, also how to, 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 how, to, how to retrieve the gametes from the woman and manipulate them in the laboratory, which includes uh, ICSI and uh, uh, IVF. Basically, we, we, the, 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 the advanced method that is used in Milan Fertility Center is ICSI. And we learn some of the methods that are used in ICSI. And uh, also we had some of the trainings during the investigation process, which include uh, the tubal, looking at the tubal infertility and uh, uterine infertility, which includes hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, and some of the other issues that we, we learn from Milan, Foundation, Milan Fertility Center. My plan includes force advocacy because it is important for the people to understand which include the infertile couples, the general population, and the policy makers because if, if there are no policies towards management of infertility, it will be virtually difficult in the public sector. That's one to in also to encourage private sector intervention in infertility because it is important that people understand that infertility is an issue and is a societal problem. So advocacy would be one. To advocacy in establishing not only to have policies but also establishing infertility centers in collaboration with partners including private sector so that we have at least a fertility center. I think it is important to encourage the young ones to venture into the field of infertility because there's nothing more joyful than seeing a couple who has been desperate to get pregnant over the years finally achieve their goal of having a healthy child going home with the, the child they've been looking for. And uh, these are people who have been outcast by society, seen as the, um, the untouchable. So I think this alone would be a joy for any gynecologist or any doctor who is willing to help 
people who are desperate in getting something or uh, to have a child. I think it is, it is important to encourage the young ones. The knowledge would be handed over from the young doctors and those who are uh, aspiring to become doctors because teaching the medical students would also be part of handing over the knowledge. And even advocacy, talking to the media about infertility, are all geared towards giving the knowledge to people for them to understand that infertility is not, a, is not an infliction on an individual. It is something that can be solved. Every infertile couple has a solution. It is when they see the right person and go to the right place, they will get what they need, and which is to have a healthy child. I would like to thank Mark Foundation for this opportunity because it is an opportunity in my own situation uh, which I, I got not the usual way of Mark handing out the scholarship because this was something that I saw online. Then I decided to, uh, I decided to talk to the president of Mark Foundation who was so much excited that at last there is somebody who is willing to, to also be part of the, the fight against infertility. So she told me that uh, don't worry, would, 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 you will get the scholarship. And within two, three months I was offered the scholarship. So I'm really grateful to the Mark, to Mark Foundation for giving me this opportunity to study advanced infertility at Milan Fertility Center.